Hey everyone, come with me to visit some of my favorite bookstores in the Triangle area. Starting off strong, we are at Quail Ridge Books in Raleigh. As you enter on the right, there is this huge children's section. I adore their sparkly tree. They also have some fun artwork on the walls. And I think this is just a fun place for kids to check out some books. I believe they also have events for children's books along with other book club meetings. And in the rest of the bookstore, they have a ton of different genres and selections to choose from. This is my favorite section. As you know, I study sociology, so I love going in this part of the bookstore. They have a pretty large selection of nonfiction fiction books, but as you know, I love my nonfiction books like food writing, books about nature and the environment, poetry. This is probably one of the largest bookstores in this entire video. I absolutely love how they decorated the entire store. I love the red walls, the red chandeliers. They have little knickknacks that you can buy as gifts. And when you go upstairs, you get this beautiful view of the entire bookstore. I love the wide range of sections that they have. I am showing clips of some of my favorite ones that I tend to gravitate towards. And I also always just find a lot of new books that I never really hear about. A lot of the books that I'm pulling out are from the sociology section and they're on social media and basically are cultural investigations and criticisms. Overall, there's something here for everyone. Next, we have Rofiwa Book Cafe in Durham and all the books here are written by black authors. This is the cafe portion of a bookstore. There's not too many seats, so you might have to come early just to get a spot, but they have a pretty decent amount of nonfiction books. When I first came here, they had a ton more books than when I came here this time around to film, and I noticed that they're starting to cater more towards children's books and young adult books, so there are a lot of picture books, which is super fun. There's also amazing and meaningful artwork, which gives a nice cozy vibe. Now we are at Flyleaf Books in Chapel Hill. This is another bookstore with an amazing selection. I love looking at their gift shop section, which is basically a bunch of novelty and bookish items. The tables in the middle typically showcase the new items. So they have new and notable nonfiction books in paperback and hardcover, as well as fiction books in paperback and hardcover. They have bookstore cover posters on top of the bookshelves, and they also have a used book section, which I love. And in this part of the bookstore, there are the children's books, the young adult books, food writing, which I love going to. Lastly, they also invite a lot of authors to speak at their bookstore and have little events like book club events and signings. Here are some books that caught my eye while I was here. Since I'm a nonfiction girly, I tend to gravitate towards the same sections as before, so a lot of history, a lot of sociology and social issues. I also really love their self-help section. There is this book that I'm going to show in a minute called Self-Care, and that was my first time seeing that book at a bookstore. So I tend to find a lot of books in this bookstore that I normally don't see in other bookstores, which is why I love to come here. On top of that, the staff here are so welcoming and kind. Back in Raleigh, we have Reader's Corner, which is a used bookstore and the books here on the outside are incredibly cheap from 10 cents to 25 cents and inside i saw this bird and i thought it was so cute but overall this bookstore is so fun and quirky there are a bunch of stickers and images that are pasted on the side of the bookshelves as you walk through the aisles not only will you find used books in here, you can find used records, used CDs and DVDs. So there are a ton of things to look through in this bookstore, but as you can see, it's just fun to walk through it. They had some newer or maybe they were just really gently used books, but those were a little more pricey than the rest. If you walk a few minutes down the street, you will find nice price books. It gives off a very similar vibe as the Reader's Corner with the stickers and images on the sides of the bookshelves. And they also have used DVDs, records, and books. 
and they also have these amazing plants on the side. There's just a lot going on in here which makes it such a fun place to look through and even just window shop. They do have a teeny tiny section of newly released books. Here I found a book that I love. It's a book about boundaries. So they do have a pretty good selection here as well. We are back in Durham to go to Letters Bookshop. I love their selection of books because a lot of them are newly released books. So they tend to publicize and display those more as well as adding little descriptions on them to intrigue the audience and get them to pick the book up and swift through it. But overall, these are some of the sections that caught my eye. And there's also an upstairs portion. This bookstore is so neatly organized, which is very pleasing to the eye. The selection upstairs mainly consists of little gift knickknacks, food writing, poetry, cookbooks, young adult books, graphic novels. As you can see, I love pulling out the books that have caught my eye. This one is about food monopolies and corporate giants. I also love how the upstairs area has this beer and wine coffee section. And in that back corner, they have a children's section. I love so-and-so books because it's one of the first bookstores I visited when I first moved to Raleigh. The interior is very neat and clean, but they also have these fun circular tables to display the books. And although it's not too overwhelmingly big, they still have a great selection to choose from. I would say their fiction and nonfiction sections are pretty 50-50. They have a tiny children's section as well as a little reading corner to sit in and check out the books. This is another bookstore where I find a lot of books that I don't normally see elsewhere. Again, they have little knickknacks for gifts and they showcase a lot of local businesses. A couple times I visited and they had a barista from a local coffee shop come by to make coffee for anyone that wanted to buy any. Again, as you can see, I'm pulling out the books that have caught my eye, books that have been on my list, and most of these are actually newer books that I haven't seen before that I really want to read sometime soon. I mainly just stick to this side of the wall, which is the nonfiction side. There are a lot of history books, essay collections like this one that I've been meaning to read. And this is the little reading area with some couches and some armchairs to relax and look through the books that you found interesting. I started to delve into these two books. One is about degrowth and one is about surveillance capitalism, which are both two concepts that are really fascinating to me. This is hands down my favorite bookstore out of all the bookstores I'm showing, Epilogue, which is this cafe bookstore. When you first enter, you see a lot of the new releases. The first sections that you see are typically fiction books, but everything is so beautifully displayed. They have a cafe, you can order amazing coffee and delicious pastries. They have this cute little short story dispenser that you can read short stories from. They have a ton of seating areas, a kids section, they have bathrooms, and they also have games that you can purchase. This is my favorite section, which is the nonfiction section, which is full of books on social issues, as well as essay collections, memoirs, and here are some books that were really intriguing to me. I love the title of that one, and this one I had been eyeing for a minute. I have found and purchased some books here that I haven't been able to find anywhere else, so I love going here because they do have the very specific niche books that I'm interested in reading. Then connected to epilogue is prologue, which is where all the used books are. They have this beautiful seating area on that side of the wall, and on the other side of the wall are the bookshelves of used books. I found some pretty great things in this used book section, but I just think it's so cute that they named it Prologue and Epilogue. Nora Cafe is my favorite cafe to get work done. I also adore their specialty lattes. They're super yummy. And they just have this beautiful display of books. All of these books are used books and they're only a dollar. They are sourced from another bookstore called 
dog-eared books but every time i go to the actual location they are not open so that's the little location dog-eared books and they just have a beautiful vibe in this cafe with the book artwork and all the used books surrounding the tables this is the book that i got from them and it's the secret which is a book about the law of attraction again only a dollar the last bookstore is golden fig books i love this bookstore as well because it's not too overwhelmingly big but they still have a pretty nice selection of books that i've never really seen before and they're very organized I do wish there were more seating areas to give it more of a cozy vibe but I love that they pick a certain book as their golden fig and if you purchase that book while it's a golden fig you can get it for a discounted price here are some of the books that stuck out to me while I was here it seemed like there were a tad bit more nonfiction books here which I didn't mind because I love nonfiction books this is a book I've been meaning to get for a long time now but these are some newer selections as well as older ones on my list. That is the end of the video. If you have a favorite bookstore in the area, please leave it in the comments below. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.